first under a public records request. The state releases thousands of emails involving the former governor and the former first dude. While Sarah Palin was in office, some in Juneau referred to her husband Todd as a, quote, shadow governor. And as Channel 2's Lori Tipton reports now, these emails reveal that Todd Palin was very involved in some decisions impacting the state. Lori? Mike Maria, when Sarah Palin was in office, it was unclear what role Todd played as the first gentleman of Alaska, but these emails show Todd did more than the typical ceremonial duties of a governor's spouse. When Sarah Palin was sworn in as governor, her husband Todd was by her side. And throughout her time in office, Sarah's spouse was active in state business. But recently released emails show just how much influence Todd Palin may have had on policy in the Palin administration. Under public records law, nearly 3,000 pages of emails involving Todd were recently released by the state to NBC News and MSNBC. Emails were exchanged between Todd and state officials, covering covering countless areas of state government and politics. They reveal that he was involved with a judicial appointment and he monitored contract negotiations with public employee unions. Also revealed insight into how much power Todd Palin had. When the Fairbanks Daily News miner wrote a critical editorial about the governor, Todd sent an email to his wife demanding the governor's communications director, Megan Stapleton, to quote, have Meg take the news miner off the press release address list for a few days, see how long it takes them to realize they're not on the list. Some who served under Palin's administration would not go on camera to talk about this today, but over the phone, former Public Safety Commissioner Walt Monaghan confirmed that Todd would occasionally attend cabinet meetings and that the governor would copy her husband on the email she sent to Monaghan. The Palin family spokesperson, Megan Stapleton, declined an interview today, but Sarah Palin's attorney, Thomas Van Flyn, issued a statement saying Todd Palin had official and unofficial duties, saying, quote, Todd Palin was and remains a close advisor to the governor. Those in the administration knew this, and the public knew this. There is nothing unusual, untoward, or inappropriate for a spouse of a chief executive to provide guidance, input, and hands-on assistance. Thomas Van Flyn also noted that Todd Palin had no designated office, he received no pay, and had no staff. But these emails show that even though that was the case, Todd Palin was a decision maker for the state during his stint as first dude. A company based out of Pittsburgh called Cravella West scanned all the emails released to the news organizations and set up a public archive online. We have a link to that database through our website at ktuu.com. Just click on web links from the news and we'll show you where to go. Mike Maria. So, Lori, what's some of the background on these emails? Uh, when were they requested? Well, the original request was made in September 2008. State law specifies that staff should respond to public records requests within 10 days, but because there were thousands of emails to go through. It obviously took the state much longer. But a broader request by MSNBC uh, and other news organizations for about 25,000 emails sent and received by the governor and roughly 50 top officials, that request is still pending. All right. Thanks, Lori. Channel 2's Lori Tipton reporting for us tonight.